What's up Star Wars fans, we've got a new action figure review today from Star Wars, the Black Series line. This is an exclusive, I believe, to Target in the US. It is a Zing Pop Culture exclusive here in Australia, and you can grab it online now. It is now available here in Australia, so great to look, we'll talk about it on the podcast last week. It's great to see some of these exclusives get a chance at retail here in Australia. Um, a lot of the big major retailers like your Targets, um, and stuff like that don't pick up exclusives anymore um it's been just just been the way it is for the last couple of years but zing has uh stepped up and seen the need of the community and uh giving fans an opportunity to grab these figures locally here in australia without having to pay through the nose to get them from international outlets so we have here for first order elite snow trooper from the rise of skywalker so the latest generation of cold weather assault stormtroopers, snow troopers wear advanced insulation, uh, insulated armor and helmets that reduce the glare of icy terrain. I am pretty sure the regular snow trooper from the first order said the same thing. But it's a, it's the same figure too. Um, but it comes with a new cape <laughs> and a hood. And a cloth backpack covering thing, which I don't really understand, but that's okay. Um, it is a cool look. Um, probably not necessary, necessary really, but we'll, I'm sure we'll get a reason why they needed to have a cape. I um, always thought a pauldron was enough to distinguish them from being a commander or, you know, a, a, an upper rank. Um, but apparently these are elite. Um, so I'm not sure why their armor isn't different at all. So we have here the weapon. This is the weapon of a First Order Snowtrooper, um, which I can't remember the name of. I know the, the regular Stormtrooper blasters are F11D, and this one has the extended stock on the back, so I'm not sure. Um, completely blanking right now, but that's okay. Nicely painted again. Um, having a touches of white on the on the first order weapons has been been kind of nice actually, um, rather than being just black, plain black. Making Hasbro do that do some work with the figures. <laughs> so here we have the snow trooper. So I'm pretty sure I have reviewed the snow trooper in the past as well as the commander. So. It's the same figure. Uh, it has the same peggable backpack. And for some reason, it has this extra cloth bit wrapped around it. Unsure of the purpose as yet. Um, should have the visual dictionary in a week or so. So I'm sure all the answers are in there. <laughs> we'll get them. I assume it's just a assist with insulation or something. I'm sure there's a practical reason for it. So again, there's just a hole in the soft goods there where that pegs into. In terms of the soft goods cape, it's actually really well done. And we have this black layer inside, which, you know, two separate layers of fabric. Really nicely, really nicely sewn together. Really nice seams throughout. Fortunately, that should probably sit up and over a little bit more. Um, I do just have the string sort of tied around and sits under the back like so, but you can probably manipulate that a little bit more so it does sit up around the shoulders uh, a little better. Um, again, it's just something I haven't taken the time to do yet myself. Um, being with all the other cool figures that have come out recently, I haven't sort of given much, myself much time with this one. But uh, I'll, I will, I'll get there eventually. And the hood, of course, which is nicely put together. Sits over the helmet nicely as well. Again, if those, that sort of sat up there, it would sit a little bit better. But yeah, much like Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens, not sure why they need a hood when they wear a helmet, but it's Star Wars. It doesn't need to make total sense. It's all in good fun. So articulation, he has a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, 
A torso joint, ball hinged hips, swivel cut thighs, double joints in the knees and ball hinged ankles. So it's all the good, all the good gear that you want. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm very content with just having the one of these. <laughs> I don't need to buy two. Um, I have a good squad of snow troopers. And uh, this guy can stand at the front with the commander that come with the pauldron. So aside from that, there is no difference in this trooper, aside from some nicely done soft goods. So got to give uh, Hasbro some kudos on that. They've done they've done that a good job of that. So I appreciate that. So I'm looking forward to seeing this guy in action. Just a week away. Not a week away. A week away. All right, we've got some more exclusives coming right up, so stay tuned right here to this channel. And until then, may the force be with you.